Hello, welcome back to the woods. And welcome back to another simple stick project. And in this one, we're gonna look at how to make a catapult. Now, I know a lot of you are thinking, how is that catapult connected to this seat from the last simple stick project? Well, to find that out, you're gonna to have to wait until the very end of the video. As far as tools for this project go, you don't need a great deal. You're just gonna need a simple pruning saw, a knife of some description. You're also gonna need a pencil and some sort of straight edge, a small ruler, something like that. Materials, well, as well as the actual stick itself, and a little bit more about that in a moment, you're also gonna need some catapult bands. Now, I went for flat bands. I got them from eBay, from a site called Gamekeeper Catapult. It didn't cost a lot, they're good quality. The guy has got his own YouTube channel called Gamekeeper John, which is very good. Go over, check it out. But that was where I got my bands from. And you're also gonna need some steel ball ammunition. I got nine millimeter steel ball ammunition. I got it off eBay and I got them in a bag. I think it was about a kilo in the bag. So the stick that you're gonna use for this project, well, I went for a piece of dogwood. I cut it fairly big. The reason I went for dogwood, number one, it's, it's very, very solid. <clears throat> very strong piece of wood. It also grows with quite a nice curve already in it where you get the branches coming out. And it's also something that grows quite a lot in the area where I live and work. So it made sense to use that. I've left bark on because I don't want it to dry too quickly where it's gonna split and crack. So mostly I'm leaving the bark on. I also checked that the actual curve in it is fairly comfortable to hold in my hand. So now I've got my piece of wood and I've checked that it actually fits my hand and it's comfortable in my hand. And the next thing I want to do is trim it to size. So all I do is hold it in my hand and then mark it with a pencil where I'm gonna have the two prongs sticking out and where the end of the handle is gonna be. Now I don't want it too big. I want this to be small, compact, so it needs to be able to fit into my pocket. So I'm keeping everything fairly short. Once you've marked those areas, what I then do is take my straight edge, my little ruler, and lay it between the two forks. Draw a straight line across so that when I cut, I've got two flat ends. So there it is, all cut. As you can see, the two ends are nice and flat and square. You can also see I've kept the handle fairly short. It fits nicely into my hand, and hopefully it should fit fairly nicely into my pocket. The next job that I'm gonna do, well, you can see all these little lumps and bumps where little shoots have come off. Well, they're gonna be uncomfortable to hold. So what I want to do is trim those off. I'm also gonna take these bits off on here so it's a nice comfortable grip. Anything that's likely to rub on my hand I want to remove. I'm also going to take the opportunity to round the base off as well.
So there it is. And you can see I've taken the little knobs and bobs bits out. I've taken this bit off the front here so it's a little bit more comfortable. And what I've also done is I've taken off any lumps and bumps on the sides. But what you will notice is that this side is slightly thicker than that side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take down some of this edge on the side. <clears throat> just so it's a little bit more even. Right, let's crack on. So there we go. I've slimmed this side down. It's not too bad at that end. Handle's still nice and short. And I've trimmed a few more lumps and bumps out just to make it that little bit more comfortable. My next job is on these two ends. I'm just gonna chamfer it down very, very slightly so there's less of a rough edge that's gonna sit against my bands. What I want is it nice and flat across there with a sloping surface that the bands will be stretched across. There you go, you can see I've trimmed the tops down so that they're about the same sort of thickness on either side. Still nice and even across the top. For my next job, I'm going to take my pencil, I'm going to mark a couple of little lines on each side, both at the same height, and they're going to form stop cuts. And then where those pencil marks are, I'm going to take my knife, I'm going to cut some little stop cuts into that. So there you can see, I've got notches on that side both at about the same height, you can see from the side, I've also got them cut into the other side as well. That's the woodwork done bit. The next thing I've got to do is fit the TheraBand onto here and we're almost done. So these are your flat bands. As you can see they're double thickness and they're made of something called TheraBand which is some sort of exercise in rubber elastic. In the centre you've got your little pouch and these are all cut so that they are perfectly even. Also in with these you get two smaller strips of rubber and these smaller strips they're used for binding your bands onto your little catapult stick and those smaller strips are going to fit tightly around this area here and as you put them on you bind these quite tightly you put it underneath itself and because it's elastic it locks in on itself and it locks the bands onto the stick so I'm going to crack on and get that done
and there you go that's one side on you can see it binds into the little knock that I put on that side and it also binds in tightly on that side these two are nice and even and flat all I need to do now is attach it to the other side making sure that I copy it exactly and I keep the bands flat as I do it There it is, done. These are nice and tightly held in. The TheraBand strips cut up nicely against the little knocks that we've carved and it holds it nice and securely. And it is quite a quick little project to do. Not bad at all for 20 minutes work. So the Humble Catapult, a very simple piece of kit loved by school children and used by heroes like Bart Simpson. A very effective bit of kit. They've been used for a very long time by poachers who will go out and take small game and they are perfectly suited for that task. They're small, compact, lightweight and silent. It also, if you believe my, my lockdown viewing, <coughs> very suitable for taking out the walking dead. Now, for one of these to be effective you need some decent ammunition in which case I've got these my little steel ball bearings and lots and lots of practice and that is where this the chair comes in this is that bit you've been itching to know about so the first thing I'm going to need is a long thin stick a piece of cord and something on the end I can use as a target then what I'm going to do is take my seat and I'm going to take this stick at the bottom and move it forwards and slide it in behind. So it's hanging down like so. I'll spread the base out a little, like that. And then all we do is take this stick and balance it in our two cut notches. Like so. So what I've got is I've got my target that's freely hanging and then behind it I've got this and what this does is this captures my steel ball ammunition because that stuff is, is quite expensive. Yes I could use pebbles, yes I could use practice ammunition but what I want is the actual stuff that I'm likely to be using and for me to just fire off hundreds and hundreds of rounds getting my practice in could work out quite expensive. What this does is it traps everything into there and it then drops down and forms up there so I haven't got to go scouring the woodland behind it looking for the ammunition and frankly out here I'd never find it anyway So there we go, the humble catapult. Excellent for taking small game. Very portable, fits in your pocket. Highly, highly effective. Not only against small game, but also the walking dead, just in case. What you've also got from this project, as well as this excellent little hunting tool, is something you can sit on in camp and a way of practicing with your steel ball ammunition that you're not going to lose loads and loads of steel balls out into the bush. Instead, they're all going to be held and contained in that area there because your little parachute silk back screen will absorb the impact and drop the ammunition, not necessarily in the actual thing, but quite often it will drop it just in front. So a really good little project that you can do in the woods over a couple of trips 
don't take very long and easily easily achievable now if you enjoyed this project and I really hope you did then like and subscribe to the channel like the video remember hit those notification bells so you find out when there's new stuff coming up and there's lots more new stuff coming up and also in that description box down below you will find links to my social media so Facebook Instagram but also to my Etsy shop where there's a few bits in the pipeline at the moment there's some haversacks just coming through I've just restacked uh, restocked on the badges there's also going to be uh, some more of the minimal survival scars the normal extra wide but I've also got a few limited edition ones in forest green and a uh, golden sandy type color uh, so keep your eyes on the shop over the next few weeks if you want to get in there with those obviously also in my links box down there there is a link to my patreon page get involved with the channel become a patron and you will get a heads up on when all of that stuff is coming out you also get first dibs on it I think that is everything. I've been Neil, and until next time, stay safe.